child's right to safer schools local to regional disaster risk reduction The figures presenting the loss of children's lives illustrate our schools' vulnerabilities. While natural and man-made disasters have inflicted tremendous damage and suffering in schools and communities, small incidents in and around schools in daily life leave a greater psychological impact on children about school safety. Unsafe schools are a reality. At repeated great cost, this has been seen many times in the last decade. Despite the opportunity of using schools as safe facilities for public shelter following a disaster, school buildings are an additional liability, unsafe for our children. Better known as AIDMI is a community-based action research and action planning organization. It works towards bridging the gaps between policy, practice and research in disaster mitigation from the community to the international level. All India Disaster Mitigation Institute began working informally on school safety issues at its inception in 1989 and later consolidated this work into the child's right to safer schools campaign in response to the 2001 Gujarat earthquake. With the necessary tools, school children and teachers can become the engines to reduce the impact of hazards and to foster a culture of disaster prevention and management in schools. They can work together to generate disaster awareness in schools and communities, develop school-specific disaster preparedness plans, improve structural and non-structural safety measures and obtain accident insurance so they are covered in the event of a disaster. At present, activities are underway in disaster-prone areas in seven states. Assam, Bihar, Gujarat, Jammu and Kashmir, Maharashtra, Rajasthan and Tamil Nadu. Trainings are conducted and materials are disseminated in five languages English, Hindi, Gujarati, Urdu, and Tamil. Right to education is one of the constitutional rights. AID may say, calling a disaster mitigation say, more important if it is with better atmosphere, safe uh, structures, and safer learning environment. Child safety to safer school campus has been improved, speedy, and we have also done orientation of chosen key and active school staff members and children and given them uh, orientation on disaster risk reduction subject. Teachers, staff and children are engaging in disaster preparedness and school safety trainings. Staff and other educators participate in trainings of trainers in which they learn about building school capacities for disaster risk reduction, scientific understanding of disasters, appropriate preparedness and response procedures, needs and roles of stakeholders, and psychological issues around disaster. Children and teachers learn emergency response procedures from doctors such as CPR, how to assist people who are unconscious and how to evacuate people to safety. Schools can become effective independent disaster managers. The formation of a disaster management committee allows each school to integrate lessons from training to design its own preparedness plans and evacuation maps according to its perception of disaster threats at its school. Children and teachers 
acquire basic training on safety procedures to follow in the event of any disaster. Children are seen here taking cover under their desk and evacuating in an organized manner while protecting their heads from loose objects. Children learn to remain calm and follow procedure to avoid unnecessary injuries and deaths caused by panic and chaos. The installation of fire extinguishers and fire fighting demonstrations are a simple intervention that can save many lives. In the event of a fire, schools will know how to respond without being dependent on outside assistance. <laughs> First aid kits are provided and disaster professionals demonstrate to teachers and students how to use the first aid materials. A kit of educational and informative materials in local languages helps generate awareness and preparedness among school administrators, teachers, students and parents. It contains disaster education supplies for teachers, displays targeted to students and other informative resources such as newsletters, pocketbooks and brochures. School children, teachers and administrative staff of supported schools are insured against accidents of any kind 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at a cost of rupees 15 to 17 per person per year. The insurance claim provides financial assistance to families in the case of serious injury or death. Based on damage assessment and surveys with disaster affected schools, campaign support to needy schools has been provided with respect for needs. Examples of requested support include safe drinking water facilities, repair of electrical work for safety, construction work for kitchens and toilets and monsoon preparedness. Disaster professionals, doctors, government officials, academicians and local community members share their insights in a public forum on school safety and disaster risk reduction where knowledge and ideas are freely exchanged. Other topics like girls' vulnerability, HIV AIDS awareness and climate change adaptation may be included depending on the location. As a part of its ongoing campaign, AITMI organizes public lectures related to school safety and risk reduction. from the poor localities where uh, children comes from the highly vulnerable area and we also found that uh, their disaster response capacity are very limited. The program evaluation has consistently reflected positive developments in teachers and children as comments and findings demonstrate a better understanding of hazards and a higher capacity for schools to manage their own disaster risk. आफत सू हो तो अमे लोग आफत आ जाए खबर थी पर मैंने प्रिपेर के थानों एक अमने जानकारी नहीं थी अमने आ लोग ट्रेनिंग आपी और अमें विषय अवेरनेस आई अमे शालाओं डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट प्लान पर तैयार करे अंदर अमे लोग बड़ी किट्स राखी से पीछे के शू कर एक टुकड़ी बनाई जाए साइंस क्लब हो डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट की टुकड़ी बनाई 